greetings of the day uh, now we will see the a short you know comments on comment on uh, compact internet exchange how it is working okay. so let us go to the compact internet exchange so it is basically comes from uh, parabolic reflector working principle okay so uh, let us see a yeah, center how center filter parabolic reflector uh, works like you will have you know uh, feed here uh, let me open the pointer so you have your yeah you can open the pen okay you have a feed here horn antenna and then you have a reflector okay then uh, the spherical actually always you know the from the logger antenna the waves from coming out of this feed will be spherical in nature so here what we are doing is you know this uh, this spherical waves are you know being compensated by this uh, curvature of the parabolic reflector okay so um, the how it will look like is see it will become you know um, so this curvature is compensating the faces uh, you know offered by these faces uh, uh, exhibited by these uh, spherical waves therefore the uh, we are getting the planar wave front okay at the shorter distance so basically you know they call it as you know this is the focal point focal point at which you know the focal point is the point uh, usually it will be face center of the horn antenna uh, horn antenna feed antenna basically feed antenna so it will be basically you know where the waves are start emanating so that is what is the face center we call it as face center so uh, it uh, we also call it this as the face center will be uh, you know uh, used as a focal point uh, in the in the case of a reflector parabolic reflector okay so uh, now we are, it is being compensated and you are getting the planar wave front behind the focal point so that's the center for the uh, parabolic reflector working principle so here the main disadvantage is that uh, you can see that see some of the waves are uh, you know in this region so in this region right so some of the waves are being blocked okay whatever gets reflected right reflector so some of the waves are getting blocked so in order to avoid that so this cannot be this is not a feasible solution because you know almost you know the, some 20 to 30 percent of the power is being blocked or disturbed gets did, getting disturbed so in order to avoid that uh, researchers has found that offset fed reflector okay so what uh, offset fed reflector is nothing but you know how they arrive at they arrive at like this see you can see that they are taking only half of the parabolic reflector okay only half of the parabolic reflector how uh, it will look like so you will have only these things okay you will have uh, you know uh, waves coming like this okay then what they will do a uh, half of the reflector so we are not considering the below half okay and uh, see then uh, what they are doing is then then what we do is see we will uh, you know uh, rotate the horn because you know anyway um, if you keep like this for example if you keep like this horn okay then uh, obviously it will eliminate to this area okay obviously it will eliminate to these areas okay so in order to avoid that what they will do is what you, what, you, what they have done is they have you know uh, slightly tilted the feed horn antenna like this okay this is called as offset angle or angle subtended uh, you know uh, with the vertex where uh, this is called as vertex of the parabolic reflector that is center point okay so uh, the angle subtended by uh, uh, with the vertex of the uh, this axis uh, basically this axis okay uh, angle subtended i'm sorry <laughs> i could not able to draw okay angle subtended uh, by uh, with this axis is nothing but your offset angle okay uh, offset angle of what feed antenna okay feed antenna is just rotated like this okay so then what they what it will do it will eliminate only these areas it will eliminate only these areas therefore the uh, blocking is being avoided uh, this therefore the blocking is being avoided so that is the key principle uh, behind this uh, you know uh, you know compact antenna test range so at shorter distance we can able to achieve planar waves as a remember uh, I think, I think as we recollect that what far field distance only uh, we will get the uh, you know planar wave fronts okay so in order to get this short uh, you know planar wave front at the shorter distances we can go for this kind of scenarios okay and uh, so this kind of scenarios we go for okay so um, now now uh, we'll move on to the 
compact antenna test range you can see here so this is how it will look like so you have the feed uh, you know you will have a feed here uh, i think let me open another presentation so that you know it will be clear to you um, So it may be clear to you so that you know. Sorry for the delay. So this is how it will look like the compact antenna test range. Uh, test ranges, uh, you know. Ah, this is how it will look like. So you can see here. So you have a. This is how it will look like. So you have feed here, uh, you have a feed here, and then you know you have the uh, offset fed. It's actually basically offset fed reflector, and uh, you know uh, the rays will be moving like this. So it will go here and then here. You can see that there is no blockage here. Okay, it is not blocking anything. Here also similarly here also. So it is not blocking anything. Whatever waves are coming, so it is far ahead of this. Okay. And uh, this is how they calculate like offset angle. Just now I mentioned right offset angle and a focal distance is the one from the vertex which point this antenna is being done. This focal point is nothing but your face center of the horn antenna. Or generally horn antenna is used as a feed. That's why I make use of horn antenna. You can see that see parabolic hardware is available, but this we are not uh, making use of. So we are only you know uh, having a parabolic. Uh, sorry, it's a reflector at this point alone. Okay, and uh, so now, so now now we will move on to the uh, another part of uh, compact antenna test range. See. So I think I hope you, it will be you know uh, uh, you might be uh, you might have understood how it, this compact antenna test range works. So next is that see so you have a reflector okay and uh, uh, you have avoided the you know uh, blockage but now one more problem comes into picture comes into picture what is that so for example if your you know waves are getting getting hit on the hit at the you know edges of the reflector what happens what will happen is see it will scatter like this it will scatter like this okay it will scatter like this okay so it will scatter like this okay some waves may come inside also may some waves may come inside also so these waves right so what will happen is these waves will uh, pro, you know produce a dis destructive effect okay so this destructive effect this is called as edge diffraction this is called as edge diffraction effect i think uh, mm, uh, so one person is there are number of orders are available first order diffraction second order diffraction third order diffraction so one uh, scientist you know one professor has done very lot of work on this area so i forgot his name but uh, next time i can mention the, his name as well okay so um, so this will produce a destructive effect therefore the gain of the performance of the you know reflector will be, will be you know degraded or therefore the gain uh, basically gain will be degraded about for about 1 db okay for about 1 db you can be more than uh, you know about 1 db it will get degraded so that's why this diffraction effects has to be avoided. So in order to achieve that, uh, people have, you know, researchers have proposed serrated kind of, uh, and, you know, reflectors. For example, if this is the reflector, okay, what they will do is this kind of uh, serrated uh, structure will there. Uh, can you look at here? So you can see here. So what it does, what it does is, see, when the wave hit at the edges of the reflector, what happens? So it will uh, enter into this gap region. So basically, if you have two metal, parallel metal, you know, and uh, in between air gap, it will, can act as a capacitor. Okay. So this capacitor, at what it will do? It will do. It will store the, uh, you know, it will. It is a, actually basically a storage device. Okay. And uh, it will. Uh, no, no. One more thing is that. So this will act as a 
Uh, for example, you can assume that this will act as an inductor. So LC combination, what it will do is store either store or you know compensate the phases. Okay, uh, so whatever phase it comes comes right. So whatever phase it introduces, it compensates the phase, or it will absorbs the those signal, or it will divert these those signals. So those kind of stuff it will do. Okay, so finally that's why they go for this uh, serrated kind of uh, uh, you know compact and test range. Because otherwise so you cannot ensure you know uh, quiet zone here. Okay, but for example, if you are keeping only plain reflector here, what will happen is some different diffraction may come inside and then it, it may disturb the uh, you know uh, UE performance as well. Because you know you might be ha having some degraded performance with the UE, uh, but you may not suspect that this issue. So you may be suspecting only the UE issue, but you may you will end up in not getting any answer. So that's why. So the, in order to avoid that, they selected uh, you know, always, you know, most of the measurement setup you could have seen. I think almost 99.99% of the setup will have a serrated kind of reflectors. Okay. In order, this is, is to avoid the this diffraction, diffraction uh, effect. Okay. And uh, so what it does is, so how it works, that also I have explained. So that's all. Uh, about this uh, you know simple compact antenna test range working principle basic working principle uh, okay so thank you if you um, thank you if you have any questions please post here and i will i will i'll be happy to answer those questions thank you bye bye